Hey everyone, it is the Nature Man. Thanks for tuning in to another Nature Man Adventures. And as you can see behind me, we have the tarp hammock setup. But, but hold on a second, there is something different with this setup that I want to show you guys. It's a new piece of gear that I picked up, and I'm telling you, this is going to be a game changer for setting up different configurations with this tarp, including one that I think will almost mimic a tent setup, but will appear perfectly with the one tigress tent that I have. So without further ado, let me show you what we have going on and let's get on with this outdoor adventure. All right, folks, I know what you're probably thinking. Come on, nature man, your setup is no different than it is before. You've got your tree, you got your guy line, you got your pole. I got, what? I got a pole? <laughs> hey, look at this, folks. You want to do some pole dancing with me? Hmm, never mind. Um, <laughs> But anyways, yes, we have a pole. This is a pole, a tarp pole from a company called Green Elephant. Maybe you've heard of them before. This is my first time doing this setup with these poles. And I've been wanting to do this for a while because I want to show you guys different ways that you can utilize this tarp. And I've been showing you the basic setup with basic, the lean in the back and the porch in the front. It's, it's your basic setup that I do. And honestly, the reason why I do it is because it works. But I also want to get that set up with that one tigress mesh tent. And I haven't been able to get the right height for the tarp because I haven't been able to raise it up high enough. Now, with the pole, I'll be able to do that. And I won't have to overextend my body. So if you look at this, I have this guy line set basically a height that's comfortable for me to set it at for the knot. But then you can raise it up with the pole and get the tarp the way you want let me let me show you the other side all right folks so here's the other side and you can see that it is a little bit shorter on the pole and that's because there's an old dead tree here so i didn't need to raise this up higher i can still have this at the pitch that i need but again as you can see i have this at a comfortable level for the guy line for the knot and then my tensioners and then i just have this hooked up to the tarp right here and I'm getting that nice line that I want. You know what I'm saying? There's a little bit of a bowl, but that's okay. But look at how much space it gives you inside. Now, I am 5 feet 5 inches tall. And let's see. Probably about the flattest I can get. Now, yes, I am hitting this ridge line, But ultimately, I can get this top even higher if I wanted to. To raise it up. And then have it more comfortable for me for doing the things I want to do. So for example, now, let me show you. We have, we've got the uh, we've got the hammock here. Go to sit down in the hammock and hopefully I can do this without falling. Boy, uh, one-handed, here we go. Now look at this, folks. Look how much room I still have inside of this tarp. Like before, I have the porch mode set up. But with the poles, it allows me to get the height of the tarp higher than I normally do and that is key for having a comfortable space now if it were to rain I could still drop the front side drop that down and I will be able to enclose this and have a comfortable setup without the rain affecting me and I will show you how that will work afterwards but holding you guys uh, is a little heavy today because I forgot my other tripod so I'm using my handheld and uh it's a little tiring for the for the arm you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna guys, i'm gonna put you guys down and we're gonna we're gonna get some food going and if you want to stick around for that by all means stick around for the food and the coffee but then afterwards i'm going to show you how this works with the doors enclosed to close this off and make it more like a regular tent setup Oh man, folks, that heat feels good coming from the alcohol stove. Today I've switched back to the Trangia stove. I want to see how this performs in comparison to the other one using the small cup that I have. And then the aluminum foil just as a windbreak. We've got those tiny bubbles. We've got the steam coming. You know, and I'm curious too, what do you folks 
use most when you go out for your adventures whether it's day camping or overnight adventures do you use a alcohol stove isobutane stove twig stoves or just build a regular campfire what is your preference when it comes to spending time in the outdoors as a source of heat for food and warmth what do you use drop a comment below i'm curious Oh yeah, look at that flame, folks. Woo, she is burning good. She is burning good. I think I can get some of my food in there now, too. So I made up a my normal pasta dish the other day. I'm almost thinking I have too much water in there for this now. Yeah. But let me show you. She's definitely coming to a boil now. Alright, I'm going to empty out some of that water, put some of that food in, get that cooking, and then I'll bring you guys back when it's time to eat. All right, folks, that was a super delicious meal, and the coffee was nice and strong. But as you can see, I've already put away all of that stuff because now I want to show you the setup here with the tarp enclosed like a tent. So I already have all of that other stuff put away, nice and neat, stored in my backpack. And then for a breakdown, it's just the tarp and the hammock, poles, that sort of thing. But let me show you how this setup will work and how comfortable and spacious it will be inside of there. All right, folks, so I'm going to go ahead and begin the process of breaking this down to get it to that setup. I will time lapse this so it goes a lot faster and then I'll show you the end result. All right, folks, so hopefully you can see what I'm talking about, how I have this now set up with the doors closed off. And this will start to look or mimic more like a tent than a regular tarp setup. And what I'm going to do is I'll try to get onto the other side and show you how it hooks from there. All right, folks, so hopefully this is a good angle to show you. But basically, all you're going to do is take this side here and it gets clipped over to here and then this side will get clipped to this side and that's what's going to close off the doors for you now as you can see it's really not a perfect setup with the hammock because this is my first time trying this out 
but this is the basic principle that you would have now I need to pull this side out a little bit more yeah we need to pull this out just a little bit more I think let me see see if that helps a little bit but overall this is the concept this is the idea and then if I were to lower this pole a little bit, I could have this lower to the ground as well. And really, the whole, the whole purpose is to have this low enough to the ground that it would be more like a tent. But that's the basic principle right there. Now let me get on in the inside and show you what it looks like. All right, folks, so this is about as wide as I can go to show you how this setup works. But as you can see, I've got the door enclosure on this side and the door enclosure on this side. And with the one tigress mesh tent, you can see how much room we would actually have in here. It encloses the space and will protect you from the elements. Now, I'm going to stand up and show you guys. Again, here I am standing up. I am five feet, five inches tall. So you can see that I am at the maximum height for this. But with the mesh tent... I would be able to get a good pitch for that tent as well and have plenty of space in here to be covered from the elements. Also, it's going to help insulate. So if I go to sit down, I'm gonna try this again, folks, without falling over. Okay, now, do it this way, okay. So now, as you can see, as I'm sitting in the hammock, you can see how much room I have. And obviously there would be some adjustments I would need to make in order to make this work perfectly or better. But yeah, check this out. This is the setup that I'm talking about. Being able to close this off and be protected from the element. So if it rains or if, if it was uh, snowing, which I wouldn't be out here on most winter days. But if it was raining or if it was windy, you would have that protection. So that's what I wanted to show you. Those poles allow me to get this set up the way I want. And really the breakdown is not that bad to get it to that point. Uh, like I said, this is my first time doing the setup. And I think overall I'm getting a good idea of how I can make it work. But there you go. So hopefully this gives you all another idea of what you can do. Especially with a tarp like this one. Or if you have another tarp that's a... 10 by 10 or 10 by 12 or whatever size you're using it just gives you these options you know and and i love to have options when i'm out there in the woods <sighs> boy i'm definitely feeling the difference by enclosing this i'm definitely feeling warmer in here can you imagine closing this off with just enough airflow and having one of those small uh canned heats for flame i wonder if that would help warm up the environment here too and not be that toxic hmm another thought for another day anyways there you go folks so i hope you've enjoyed this day and this outdoor adventure with me and just trying out something new trying something different it's all about getting out there and like i've said before experimenting with the gear that you have seeing what works what doesn't work but most important get out there have fun enjoy being in the outdoors Make the best out of all of the situations that you have in life. To enjoy every moment of life. To get dirty with nature. And you know what folks? That's what it's all about. That being said, I'm going to take my time to relax and chill now. And then we'll see if it rains. If it does, I'll bring you guys back. If not, I'll pack up and head on home. Alright. Until then, take care, God bless, and I'll see you very soon.